Hello, welcome to Switched On, Paul speaking, and today we're going to be having a look at a new release that's coming out physically, um, but also is available as DLC on the eShop, and that is the um, update to Gear Club Unlimited 2 on the Nintendo Switch, which is a, a Nintendo Switch exclusive. But uh, we're going to be getting an update called the Tracks Edition, and as I said, this is coming physically. It looks uh, rather snazzy, doesn't it, with its really nice box art. This will include all the DLCs that I'm going to talk about now, but basically there's been a series of DLCs launched for the base game. So if you already own Gear Club Unlimited 2, then you can download these. Now there's actually, it's a little bit confusing, there's three DLCs. Um, there is a Tracks Edition, which is £1.79, and it gives you updates to 20 cars um, to make them motorsport worthy and also gives you some extra stickers to use in your liveries. Then there's the Endurance Championship, which is £6.99. That comes with circuits, which is a first for Gear Club Unlimited. Um, these are like real um, circuit tracks you can do motorsport racing on. Then there's only one official one, and that's the Le Mans track. So you can race the 24-hour Le Mans. And there is uh, four other fictional tracks as well that are quite fun to race, and we'll have a look at those in a second. And there's also some new cars that we're going to have a look at. Let's have a dive in and look at some of the new cars. They were in the class D2. Let's see if we can find D2 now. So we've got better to find it. Uh, yeah, it was here. D3, actually. So we'll load this in and I'll tell you about the, the other pack. Now, the there is a Tracks Edition pack which bundles in both of those items for £7.19. So there is a bit of a saving if you buy them both now that includes uh five new cars um, including a nissan gtr nismo porsche 919 bentley continental gt3 let's have a look at some of those here uh, and i say it does include the le mans truck as well so you can see these are like more endurance cars there's the nissan nismo um, i think that is the that's the porsche 919 Let's have a look at a bit of a, let's have a closer zoom in. The 919 Hybrid. I mean, you're viewing these cars, you can uh, have a little play around with them. A bit like in, uh, I think Forza did this, didn't it? You can look around the car and open it up. It's not as uh, not as in-depth as Forza. You can't go right inside and have a look around. But you can open the doors and uh, look at the different colours, if it comes in different colours. Two million credits to buy that one. Uh, what else have we got here? What's that one over the back? That is a, ooh, Kunz. Zig. Um, and you can see you can flick through different colours. There's like a carbon fibre, white and a red. That one might have already been in the game, but I know for sure the uh, the Nissan Nismo, this one here, the Porsche and the uh, Bentley Continental are all new. And uh, very swish they look too. So as I say, there is now endurance racing. Let's go back to the map and I'll show you the uh, new endurance championship. Now this is really cool because not only is it introducing circuit racing, which uh, personally I much prefer to the original um, Gear Club sort of um, point to point races, um, but also introduces now um, strategy so you can get a fuel and tyre uh, choice when you start the game. So let's have a look at some of the tracks here. So I'm in competition A at the moment. If we can see the actual tracks that we've got. Oh yeah, here we go. So on the left hand side here we've got this uh, Henry Autodrome. Well, I guess it would be pronounced Henri Autodrome. Uh, the Valras circuit. And you can see the top right hand corner there, the uh, configurations. There's that one. They're quite lengthy tracks. That one's 4.8 kilometers. The Henri is 5.1. Uh, they're meant to be long because it's introducing this kind of uh, endurance sort of uh, feel to the game. So you have to make pit stops, change your tyres and manage your fuel level. But uh, I'll just show you how that works. Here's the uh, Neva driving park. I thought it was meant to be based in the UK maybe, or America. And then the Kuru Sport Park. They are the tracks that you'll be racing on. So there is also the uh, um, Le Mans 24 hour race. Now I've already done the qualifying for this race, so let's get into the race itself and show you how that works. We, you will see when it loads in, you have to make a choice now on fuel and tire choice, so soft, medium or hard. You get a little mechanic that helps you, your team boss sort of helps you make a decision, but you are free to choose 
whatever strategy you want to go with, whether you want to fuel for a bit longer and just do a splash and dash at the end, or um, fuel up for longer and take a, a bit of a hit that be that you'd be slow in the start of the race. Now, if you go back, I will put a review to my original, I'll put a link to the original review of uh, Gear Club Unlimited 2 I did a while back. I, think I gave it a 6.5 originally. Uh, these were in the times of uh, the days before Grid was on the Switch. So it was kind of the only real option you had if you wanted a semi-realistic racing game. Um, obviously, Grid's come along since then and kind of uh, usurped that. But if you've still got Gear Club Unlimited 2, Unlimited, it did, Unlimited, to um it does go on sale every now and again so definitely stick it on your wish list if you like racing games you haven't picked up yet um i did revisit around the time when grid came out i did a uh, another look at it um because it it has had a lot of updates if there's one thing you can say about gear club unlimited over the years they have really taken care of it in terms of uh, updates patches dlc so really it's been a game that sort of has grown organically over the years and it is a better game than it than it was when it launched They've sort of tweaked the handling a little bit and uh, some of the sort of uh, car models a little bit. So here you see you've got your uh, engineer at the start. You can choose soft, medium or hard. But he tells you uh, in the little box there, Simon Botero uh, tells you what is the, his recommendation and what each different tyre will allow you to run, sort of the lengths. So we'll go with uh, a strategy. We'll start on soft and then switch to the hard. And then the fuel range there. This is a... Well, the, the race is running times. So this is a 14 minute race. And uh, you see on the right hand side, there are estimates that will be around about seven and a half laps. So you want to be fueling for around about that. And uh, so if we're going to be pitting after lap three, we can probably run. Uh, da -da -da -da. Can run it just a little bit 44 percent there range uh 3.3 to four laps if we're pitting on lap three that should give us plenty and uh you see there the weight that's going to cost you and the refill time so when you pick that you can start the race rolling start on this one and we're in the uh, bmw and uh, yes yeah, much different feeling having it as a uh, as a circuit race as opposed to those point-to-point -point sort of uh, races through uh, forests and deserts and urban settings. I mean, I love point. Uh, I love um, circuit racing. So this has been a big deal for me. So I think it's going to be really good for people to want an alternative to to grid as well. Or you know, if you do already own uh, Gear Club, as I say, this is a really nice add-on. Um, if you haven't got, oh, excuse me. If you haven't got Gear Club, then I say that that physical might worth picking up. With all the DLC included, uh, a really nice package there. But uh, yeah, if you've already got the game, then a nice bit of longevity by adding in this endurance championship, uh, a load of new cars and these circuit tracks. There's also uh, a new time trial mode as well, and uh, you can run those in any combination of cars. And uh, each track now has a leaderboard. And of course, you've still got all the uh, club stuff as well. Um, so you can uh, join clubs or create your own club and run races online against, uh, I think it was against Ghosts. I haven't played the, uh, the clubs for a little while, but if it's still the same as it was, it's against Ghosts. We can see here these really cool technical tracks. That's a really tight bend. Did not play that well. Um, so yeah, you've got the, the club still, which is a really good thing. Uh, you've also got, of course, the really in-depth car editor, so you can update your livery. That was really cool, and I know uh, people love updating their cars and making new new sort of liveries for their cars. Uh, there is a new garage. If you remember, uh, Gear Club Unlimited has a uh, oh dear, did not take that well. has a um, garage that you can build over time, which is a, another really cool thing, like a garage management. And as you uh, earn more money and level up, you can add more uh, upgraded pods to your. Uh, garage. We'll do one more lap on this, by, by the way, and then I'll duck in the pits. Um, so yeah, there's a new bay that you can add. Basically, it's an endurance uh, bay, which means that you can update your cars in your garage, most of them, to become racing standard. Hard on the brakes. For that one. 
Yeah, so we're going to duck into the pits at the, uh, at the next lap just to show you how pit stop works. Uh, you can see on the right hand side now we've got the new information. You've got your uh, tyres next to your speed gauge. So it's showing soft and it shows the temperature of them. They start off blue, cold, and my tyres at the moment are green, which means they're optimal, but they will go orange or red if you hammer them too hard and don't change them. And you can also see my fuel there, obviously 26% of the tank left. I think we started on 44, didn't we? So it does go down pretty quickly. We only filled for three laps. So drop me a comment below if you picked up Gear Club Unlimited. I know it's uh, got sort of middling reviews, and as I said, I did revisit it. And uh, whilst I didn't officially score it, I did sort of say it was worthy of probably an extra point with the updates that it had to it. That was probably back maybe a year ago now, wasn't it? It was around, around about last summer the grid came out. Amazing how quickly time goes and the world changes. So, um, yeah, if you can stick it on your wish list, maybe pick up in a sale, or if you can get a. Uh, cheaper physical I would definitely recommend it um, I've always found the the pricing structure a little bit high for gear club to be honest um, it's a really good game but it, um, it's not a top tier one but uh, if you're a racing fan and you uh, want loads of content which this has got it's got you know I dare say hundreds of races but it's got so many races loads of cars you can buy an upgrade and livery editor so as a package it's really cool ducking in the pits now as our tyres have gone uh, yellow and you can see you can pick a new set of tyres we go hard tyres we need to fuel for at least five laps and there you go here are the mechanics at work I've not tried the Le Mans race yet I'm hoping and <laughs> assuming it's not 24 hours in real time that would be quite something wouldn't it but uh, here we go, hoping to get this pit stop done. We're done, we're away. Ducked in a lot earlier than the other cars. Of course, everybody else on the track, the AI cars, they will pit as well. Just getting a warning there to say we're keeping these tyres until the end. You can see on the right hand side they're blue now because they're out fresh out of the pits. So they won't have as much grip as uh, green condition tyres. As we swing it around the corner. I really like the handling on this. It does take a little while to get used to. It's not um, as refined as the handling in grid. But once you get used to it and you know, sort of know what to expect, you find it absolutely fine. You have got a handbrake option as well on the Y button. And uh, for those of you that don't know or haven't seen my review, oh, should use the handbrake there, maybe. Haven't seen my review on Gear Club, you have got different camera modes, although unfortunately there's no internal camera. Uh, we've got a bump cam, hood cam sort of a close chase and then this far chase camera so a choice there but there's no interior cam which is a bit of a shame you've also got rewinds which is kind of the uh, the way of uh, modern racing games you can see in the top right corner there I've got three rewinds left you just hit the X button to rewind you can go into the options and there are a lot of options in uh, in terms of uh, assists so you've got steering braking assists uh, stability assists so it's you know it is a really good feature pack game definitely um don't rule out a purchase of it um, as i say keep your eye on it i i definitely would recommend it i uh, just find it hard to recommend it at full price as i said but uh but there you go so that's a look at the new tracks dlc for gear club unlimited 2 on the nintendo switch Drop me a line below if you've got this one, as I say, and if you enjoy it, or uh, if you're going to be picking up the uh, the tracks expansion. And uh, if you've got any questions on it, please let me know. I'd be happy to ask. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you all on the next one. Cheers, everyone. Bye bye.